This is a video on how to change uh, a Fiat 500 seat belt and down there the pretensioner. As you can see in this car it's done and this will be the car that I'll be showing you how to do it. So welcome to the channel. If you like what you see please subscribe and have a look at the other videos. There are plenty to go around on uh, lots of various things on how to fix on a Fiat 500. So here we go, how to fit a, fix a pretensioner and a seatbelt on a Fiat 500. So to get the seats out, what we have to do, see those two bolts there, we have to loosen those, and we've got the same on the other side, loosen those, and then in the middle there, you've got a torque screw uh, where it joins in the middle, and uh, then you can just lift the seats out. So we'll probably do that on time-lapse. So that's out. Um, it was a bit fiddly, uh, as it always is. I tried to not move, remove everything from the boot this time as well, as I normally do. Uh, and then what we now need to do is we go around into the car. And you've got one bolt either side. And then that uh, the rear seat will just then lift out. Easy, really. Um, underneath that black panel there is the fuel pump. You take those four bolts off and the fuel pump is under there. Fuel sender unit rather I should call it, not the fuel pump. Um, also what we need to do now uh, is you have to remove this. You've got a screw just there and then it just pulls off. I think. I don't think there's any more screws. Oh yeah, no sorry, there's another screw just there as well. So you have to re release those two. Um, I'm not sure whether we're going to have to, yeah we are, we're doing both aren't we, so we're going to have to do it both sides, do one side at a time and then put it all back on. So again I'm going to uh, do some of this in time lapse and some of it in real time. As you saw, I've got those screw, two screws undone and then you just pull that panel off, that's held on by those grey, um, I don't know what you call them really, those little clips, they're quite tight, they sort of grab on. Uh, they can quite easily fall out, they can quite easily break, especially when you're putting them back in again. So now I'm gonna, what I'm going to try and do is set the camera up inside uh, and show you how to get off the uh, inside panel. Move inside the car. Um, what we have to do, you move the seat as far forward as you can get it. I did do it this once when I took the seat out. It was a lot easier, but you don't need to take the seat out. So again, we've got more Phillips screws. I've got another screw down there. And then there's another one in there as well. Uh, and once you pull this off, you just once that screw's undone, you can just yank it upwards, move it outside of the car. You don't need to take it right off. Um, so obviously the aim of what we've got to do is remove this panel. And to do this, um, ideally to do this, you remove that bolt. Now that bolt, as you can see, there's nice and silver. That's the seat belt anchor bolt for the rear seat belt. That goes to the outside world. And unfortunately, nine times out of ten if you take that out one you'll either never get it back in again or two it will it will shear off because it's rusty the other side so i tend to leave it alone as much as i can so what i do is i undo all the others you have to take this panel off you've got to get this off um, and then i just move it all out the way which allows you enough room to get to the bolt for the seat belt and the bolt for the pretensioner that all has to come off so i'm going to try and uh, set the camera up on the stand on the tripod put it on time lapse and show you exactly what i'm going to do so under there is the bolt so obviously that has to come off which allows you to take that off there's another screw under there um yeah as i say another screw under there as well which you unscrew and then this is all held on by just clips and then you can just pull the whole thing off by clips and then it will just bend on that bolt and as i say if you stand outside of the car there's enough room for you to lead in get a spanner or a socket wrench on the two bolts, uh, one for the seat belt, one for the pretensioner, and then they just lift out. So it's not a difficult job. Uh, it's just annoying that you have to take all this trim off. There's your wiring loom, the one that goes to the boot. Um, what I am gonna do before I do any more is I'm gonna disconnect the battery. Um, obviously the seat belts do have pyrotechnics in, uh, 
as do these. I don't think these have gone because it hasn't pulled in the, the cable. But according to micro, uh, I keep calling it micro, multi-ECU scan, um, the resistance is gone. So they do need placing, even though they haven't pulled through, uh, which is a shame. Don't really know why that's the case, um, but it is. So they're just going to be replaced. I've got a, I've got another set that I've got with the seat belts. Um, so we'll just change them. Well, we've got to change them. We've got no choice. Uh, so yeah, before you start fiddling around with seatbelts or airbags, um, you need to disconnect the earth terminal of the battery. You don't need to take the battery out, you don't need to disconnect the, uh, the live terminal, just taking the earth quick release off is, uh, is enough. So I'm going to set the camera up now on tripod and uh, we'll put it on time lapse. Okay, as you can see, I've uh, got all the screws undone. I've pulled the panel out, so the panel's just loose. As you can see down there, the pretensioner, because this pretensioner has not actually retracted the cable, it's more difficult to get that through the hole without taking that rear seat belt mount off. But you can do it because uh, you can sort of lift it up out of the way, and uh, it's actually easier once you've got the bolt done undone on the pretensioner. So I'm going to do it in real time taking the pretensioner out um, and then we'll take the seat back out as well. I'm going to try and film as much of it as I can in detail but obviously it's a bit awkward with the camera trying to get the camera in there but I'll do my best. <clears throat> it would help if I had the socket. So you're better off doing this from outside the car, you can actually see what you're doing. So we've got a 7 mil, 17 mil socket on the one bolt that's on the... Let's see if I can get this to come out. It's, it's also quite awkward getting it back in when you get the new, new one in, that's it. Move that out of the way and then we can get to the bolt. And that's it, that's undone. much easier and then once you've undone this you just need to undo the electrical connection I just realized I've got my glasses that go dark on so it's obviously more difficult for me to see inside the car right electrical connection just has to come apart and then it lifts out that's it Job done. Well, it's not job done, I've got to get a new one in. So I'm going to mark this one up as uh, more than likely broken. Well, we know it's broken. Don't know why it's broken, but it is apparently. I think it's broken on both sides. I'm getting the pop confused with this one now. Can't remember which one's which, but I'll take it out. I'm going to change it and then we'll go from there. Uh, so, right, let's get the new one. Uh, get the right one, left hand side, so that's that one. So now, we have to get that pedal through there a little bit. It's best to do it before if you can, but I think, I think actually what I'll do is I'll take it back out. If you put the, put the bolt in first, the bolts are very green actually, the way they've been. Do it up by hand as tight as you can first. And then get the uh, socket wrench on it. There's no room to get a socket gun in at all, so you've got to do it with a wrench. Even that is quite difficult. But it does save you any grief of breaking that bolt on the seatbelt, the rear seatbelt. that done up. Now I'm not going to feed that through now obviously because I'm going to do the seatbelt now. So now I can't really show you. I'll try and get the camera through actually. Let's grab the camera if I can. 
Right, there's the seatbelt sitting in there. That's the one bolt just there. And uh, you've got the airbag electrical connection on the top there. And then the other wire that you can see going off to the right there, I don't know if I can, oh, there we go. That's the side crash sensor. So just need to undo that one bolt and then we'll get it out. Same size bolt, not difficult to undo. Once you've got it started, it comes out easily by fingers. You have to undo the electrical connection on the top, which is off. And once this bolt's completely out, it, and the whole thing just lifts out. Obviously, if it's got a seatbelt attached to it, you feed it in through there. And there it is cut seat belt how annoying I still want to see if I can uh, do something with this and see if I can get an old seat belt take the belt off and use the reel because there's nothing wrong with it that's a really annoying thing right that's that what I did forget to mention on the pre-tensioner show you on the old one where that where the seat belt pushes into that um, there's a an ordinary crosshead screw and you just turn the crosshead screw and it pops off Obviously, I didn't have the seatbelts in here, so I didn't do that bit. Okay, so that's taking the seatbelt out. Obviously, putting it back in is the exact, exact reversal. Um, so I don't really think I need to show you how to do that. I'll just take the old uh, electrical connection off of the... If I can get it off, that's it. Off of the pre-tension, and then that can just be plugged back in. I'll do that now, actually. Plugged back in, pushed into position. Right, that's that done. Okay, so now I'm going to get the, uh, the new seat belt and put that in. Right, this is the new seat belt. So basically, the seat belt just sits in, um, sits on the ledge where you put the bolt in. It literally just pokes on, turns around the right way. We'll feed that through there first, just to get it out of the way. Again, this is this is a bit fiddlier with the with this panel on, but I much prefer to do it this way rather than risk breaking that bolt. Push those through. Out of the way. Once again, I've got the seat that ran the wrong way. That's it. Get the bolt. It does help if you don't have your glasses on that go dark in the uh, sunlight because oh, it looks like I'm working doing so with sunglasses on. That's a little bit dark inside the car, that's it. Do that up by hand. Put the electrical connection back on. Now we've got to get in the car. We'll put that on uh, pause for a second. Right. So, I've got in the car now which isn't a very comfortable place to sit when there's no seats in it. So I've fed the seat belt through. Uh, what I've got to do, what I haven't done, is feed through the pre-tensioner. So try and do that from here without doing it from inside the car, outside the car, would be easier. That actually did quite easily. So what I was saying, about the other bit of the seat, this is a little, there's a bit of mould on this seat belt, it's not wonderful. So, as you can see, if you can get it, that's the crosshead screw, and all that does is push on there, 
and then to undo it you just quarter turn it, half turn it, whatever it is um, and that will release it and then that we just need to take off the bolt when you get second hand seat belts it comes with varying amounts of, uh, of things that you need so you've got this little nylon not a spacer it's sort of it's almost like it's a it's a, a nut but you have to get these off the off the old one on this case because they haven't come so you put put the um where are we put that through like that get the little nylon thing and screw it on what you sometimes find on cars that have had airbags blown obviously not airbags, sorry, um, seat belts that have blown, bearing in mind they haven't blown on this car, is because that pre-tensioner pulls the um, seatbelt tight uh, around the abdomen, um, what you sometimes get, depending on how severe it's gone off, I think, it, it seems to vary, is this piece of metal here, hope you can see that. Let me see if that fits in focus, or even in the shop. Let's move it up a bit. No, it wasn't, there we go. So this piece here, where the seatbelt bolts into, that often gets deformed and points downwards. So it's sort of, the bolt has pulled it downwards and, and pulled it out of shape. So when you're putting that bolt in, you're going in at an angle like that. So this gets stuck and gets tight on this panel. The only way I've found to get around that is put some washers in. It's a bit of trial and error. And as I say, it does vary, but it is a real pain. So now those bits are in. Just tilt back down. Actually, no, we'll leave the belt where it is for a minute. The camera on um, we need to start getting some of these screws back in and getting this panel back on. So we line up the tabs. And just push it all back in. Some go in easier than others. That's it. Just keep pushing until they all go in and then start getting these screws back in. Where's my screwdriver? Lost my screwdriver now, there it is. So I say, there's a bit of mold on some of these, um, on this seat belt a little bit, so I'm gonna have to give that a good clean and disinfect. So once you've got that screw on, you can put this panel back in. The mistake I've made a few times in the past is I've screwed in the uh, top of the seat belt and then realized I haven't put this on. So get this around the right way. This is just held on by a couple of tabs at the bottom. It's not screwed. They often break. If you can get them lined up to stop them breaking, so much the better. Let's get the roof lining, touch under it, and then you want. It actually goes on better with a. When they're deformed, it goes on better with a gun. But I think with this one, because it's not deformed at all, it's just going to go straight in. Yeah, it's going in fires, which is a novel novelty. It doesn't normally do that. You don't do it up too tight. You do it up more than finger tight, but if you do it up too tight, of course, when you, when you do that with the seatbelt, it doesn't move. So again, sometimes you have to do a, bit, a little bit of adjustment. That's it, that's fine. That's it. So that's it, that's that's how to change a seatbelt. So it wasn't that difficult, was it? So that's, it's, sorry, how to change a seatbelt and a pre-tensioner. So all I'm gonna do now is put in all the screws back um, that you saw me take out before. Put the, uh, the door, uh, the door rubber all needs to go back. Um, put that side panel on, this, this side panel on put that back on and then we'll do the same to the other side. I'm going to have to move the car for that so I can get into the car from the other side properly. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's it. That's how to do it. I'm not going to film putting it all back together. But, um, that's the basics of it. Um, I hope that's really been helpful.